Yo, what's up, guys? This is the sound we're going to be making today. Uh, we're going to do it in FM8. It's kind of reminiscent of, like, a harder dead mouse type of lead, or whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to give you guys a massive patch for free, because I don't want to make this video very long, and I don't want to go over massive and FM8, because we have a lot to do within FM8. So, I'm going to give you this patch right here. It's called Keshaw's Filthy Bass. Um... I'm not sure if this is an original patch or maybe some patch I got off somebody else and tweaked in my own way. I think I tweaked it. I don't think this is one of my own originals, but uh, I'll give it to you because it's going to be used as a layer to our FM8. So this is what that one sounds like. It's good for layering, really. That's all I use it for. And of course our top sound now, which is the FM8. And together it's and it's very reminiscent of that kind of dead mouse sound so uh, I'm gonna get straight into it uh, I guess all you need is a uh, wow filter I think yeah I threw a wow filter on there because obviously I love you to use that on these kind of sounds and uh, so what you're gonna want to do is go file new sound or and uh, you're gonna go to this tab right here called the operators tab and uh, as you can see it's a very complex network but that's kind of FM8 you kind of find all the sweet spots as you route these uh, oscillators and modulators in this matrix so I guess the easiest way to show it would be go through here so on F I have this at so what I did was I double tapped here and then I put in 0.5 so instead of you know using these things to get there I just typed in 0.5 and it's a sine wave and uh, let's go over here I turned on key sync on all of these and uh, you might want to do that too even for the ones I didn't use like A so uh, that's what I did there and F is routed straight down and that's at 80 and let's go to E now we'll get into all this stuff later but I need to cover these uh, what's going on in each of these so E is at the ratio of 5 and uh, it's a sawtooth and it's an inverted wave so you click on invert that inverts it and it's a sawtooth oh also for F uh, I don't know if you want to copy this down but I kind of played with the release so yeah go ahead and copy that down notice what it says down here actually I need to click on it there you go so if you want to copy that do that okay and uh, I didn't do anything to the other envelopes so don't worry about that okay so we covered that this is 5 sawtooth invert that's pretty much it for D we're just going to leave it at the ratio of 1, and it's going to be a triangle. And for C, and, and if you don't know how to turn these on, you just uh, double click, like so, or right click, or whatever. I'm a MacBook, so it's a little different for me. And uh, okay, so this is a triangle, and blah, 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 nothing done down here. Let's go on to C. Uh, this is at the ratio of 32, so maybe to save time, just go here type in 32 and blah 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 and this is a one two three saw and uh, let's see that's pretty much it there B that's at the ratio of three and uh, it's a uh, pair ball right there okay now comes the I guess the more complex part so let me take you through it like this we're gonna start from up here it's a little unorthodox and that's not how I designed the sound but I'm gonna go from one end to the other just to make sure I covered everything so this one is at 84 going into C and we have feedback uh, or let's cover all these first so then C goes 18 into D and D goes 100 into E and E goes 33 into F. So take your time, pause the video, 
do what you got to do. And uh, now let's go back to C. And we're going to route C 11 into E and 24 into F. And D is going to go 24 also into F. And uh, I think I covered all these. Now let's do some of the feedback routing or rerouting back into. So F is going to go back to 31 or into E at 31, then into D at 4, then to C at 24, then E is going to go into D at 6, and then E is going to go into C at 16, and D is going to go into C at 12. So maybe just pause the video. I'm going to zoom in real quick here, and then you can uh, get that down. Remember, FM8 is very uh, sensitive, so if you have one of these slightly off, it will drastically change your sound. That's what I mean by FM having sweet spots, which is really why it's so fun to make sounds within FM8 or any FM synthesis. It's, uh, it's very neat. I, it's one of my favorite types of synthesis. And if you want to play around with this one, this D going into F, or this B going to C, these are kind of the ones that I like to change that change the sound in cool ways. So let's see, no effects. I had the arpeggiator on so that I could just uh, um, have this right here. Hold on. Uh huh. So I have the arpeggiator on so, so I could get that kind of that kind of like a uh, quick, not wobble, but pattern. So it's at one eighth, it's on triplets. The note length is at 83, velocity is on, up all the way. And I dragged it out to 16, but you don't have to do any of the stuff I did down here. I actually didn't do anything down here. And uh, let's see, master, I very much didn't even look at it until now. It's all defaults and stuff. So that's what happened with an FM8. And uh, this is just a little bit of EQ. It's not really uh, important to the sound. It's more of uh, just for mixing reasons, you know, just to high pass the low end a bit and uh, bring down the 1K a little bit. Maybe that's like two or three dB. Uh, this is just sidechain compression with a quick attack, kind of quick release threshold kind of far down so that way it gets like a very like side chain effect but it's not too obvious because without it it's more like then that sounds cool but I like a strong side chaining effect on this type of sound and I think uh, Den Mouse does very much something similar to that or I don't know, I'm just speculating, but that's what it sounds like at least. And uh, now for the wow filter, this is just uh, one of my presets I made, and I just called it basic wow because all it is is just a band reject. Uh, knob is kind of down here, and the overdrive is at 30. Our reso is somewhere, I guess, where you would say it's like 90 or 95. Not all the way up, just slightly close to it. And uh, the modulators are not doing anything, so don't worry about that. Our mix is at maybe 55, 60 around here. And uh, master's just straight up in the middle at 100. And I just threw on a little bit of reverb. So I turned on the low cut, high cut. Uh, my low cut is kind of starting at 300 hertz. And uh, our high cut kind of ends around 3k uh, pre delays all the way down size is 100 I turned off spin and chorus uh, the diffusion network is where it's always at and then I left these alone and uh, decay time is at 1.17 and uh, my dry wet is at 35% now uh, let me go back into FMA and explain that my tempo is at 130, it's the tempo I like to use. So if you're gonna be using the arpeggiator and you don't like 
this tempo, then uh, maybe go towards 116 if you're going slower or using a slower tempo and kind of get the sound you want there. So it's not going to sound the same on everybody's because of tempo and things like that. And also the notes I'm using are like F1 and in that lower range. Any lower than that, I don't know that would sound that good. And uh, let's see. Okay, so that's pretty much really it, since I don't have to explain this uh, massive patch. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you like this, like it. Uh, you can always uh, request a, a comment, or uh, request future videos in the comment section. You know, anything from sound design to mixing tips to whatever. And just request it. So, thanks for watching, guys.